Details have emerged of how a prison cleaning supervisor swindled the Correctional Services Department of 257 million shillings in ghost supplies. Eric Kipkiri Mutai allegedly has used his seven companies in false supplies, costing seven prison facilities tens of millions of shillings that even they have no record of. The money was paid through the department's account at the central bank, ending in several properties and cash withdrawals by beneficiaries. Let's begin our broadcast with our very own Sam Gituku. Between the year 2016 and 2018, Eric Kipkirui Mutai is said to have used his seven companies that were incorporated between 2013 and 2016 to make a lifetime fortune. According to documents compiled by the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission, Mutai's companies, which are sole proprietorships, received between 10 and 62 million shillings each as payments for food rations to seven prison facilities. Some of the companies, however, have no semblance of food supply business. Hygienic Ventures, for instance, is registered to trade in hair products and sanitary services. Factum Logistics Enterprises, according to ESCC, is registered as a consultant for constitutional law, but they were paid for fictitious food supplies. In total, the Nairobi Remand Facility was swindled 61 million shillings, paid to the seven companies, each receiving between 3.2 million shillings and 24 million shillings. Langata Women Prison lost 53 million shillings to six companies, while Committee Men Prison lost 46 million shillings to deliveries that were never made. <laughs> Committee Medium Prison lost 27 million shillings, while Nairobi West Prison lost 39 million shillings to six of the companies. ESCC confirms that no goods were supplied and that no records exist at the prison facilities that would show evidence of any local purchasing order, LPO, delivery notes, or even payment vouchers. Instead, Mutai is said to have used falsified documents to claim payment that was made through the State Department of Correctional Services account at the Central Bank of Kenya. ESCC believes that Mutai colluded with some of his colleagues to make the payouts possible. Welcome. Two names of Mutai and John Odipo have been picked out by ESCC as persons that collected the payment vouchers for the seven companies for different transactions. Moses Sirengo, a principal accountant, has been named as a beneficiary of a house that cost 8.5 million shillings from the proceeds. Out of the 257 million shillings paid between 2016 and 2018, 133 million shillings were withdrawn in cash from bank accounts. The rest is reported to have been channeled towards different properties like land, cars and houses. The High Court has since granted freezing orders a civil case to repossess the properties commences. ASCC says the DPP has recommended for further investigations before preferring charges against the suspects. Sam Gitukus Resident TV, Nairobi.